Prior to the release of The Eternals, we know that Marvel Studios and Disney were allegedly very high on the film, choosing to delay it multiple times to line it up with the Oscars and the award season because they believed they had something special. Well, one of the stars of the film confirms this. So if you guys remember all the reports from back in the day prior to the release of The Eternals, it was stated that Marvel Studios thought they had something really special on their hands and that this was going to be one of the biggest hits, the highest scoring films, and of course a film that was going to win them tons of awards. Now, as this is something that they internally thought, obviously they couldn't get feedback from audiences because audiences weren't allowed to watch the film prior to it because they just started to screen films internally. So they never let general audiences or mass test audiences give them feedback. So they were just going with what they thought they had. This was recently confirmed by one of the stars of the films, Kamal Nunjiani, who of course plays Kingo. He said that Marvel decided internally this film was something different and special. So that's why they decided to lift the embargo for the film weeks ahead of most other releases. And that's why they decided to put the cast on a global marketing blitz where they sent them to various locations around the planet to hype up the film, put all their eggs essentially in this basket for this film. They legit thought this is going to be it. People are going to fall in love with everything in this film. We're going to win awards. This is going to be our film that breaks through the mold and it's next level comic book films. Unfortunately, we saw what happened. So, um, you know, it's a, uh, well, at least it's now good to have confirmation of what was being said by Variety and Deadline and the likes where they kept delaying the film and literally didn't want to edit the film in the editing bay during the pandemic because they were like, no, this is the film that we're sure is perfect for us. And if you guys remember internally, there was reports that they were getting feedback that this film was like a 98. Now, again, it's feedback from people that worked on the film in a vacuum. So this shows you just how Marvel was riding high after phase three. And um, I guess it's a cautionary tale to them, which they haven't seemed to rectify considering we followed the same exact pattern with every single other Marvel project recently including Secret Invasion and Thor Love and Thunder, which they also internally said were next level. 